interactive, kind of fidgety person, this time crunch was no problem for him. Um, you will hear no sense of haste or lack of care in this work, even despite the fact that it was completed in three days' time. Uh, but you will instead hear a carefully thought out woodwind acrobatics, vibrant brass sounds, and an overall brilliant piece of musical pageantry. I hope you enjoy this festive overture.
And our fifth selection is the Lincoln Shire Posey, event one, four, and six by Percy Granger, conducted by our very own David Triple. Please help me welcome David Triple. <coughs> Thank you. Percy Granger had a colorful effect on evolution of the band work. He felt that the composition should be working on music design, especially for the demands and the abilities of the wind band, just as they do for the orchestra. He convincingly spoke of the importance of a composer carefully considering each family of instruments and its colors. Sousa, who performed them quite frequently in his band, helped immensely to popularize Granger's works. A huge advocate for the saxophone, Granger played a big role in rapidly growing popularity. And he wrote very carefully for the instrument, saying it is indispensable, but must be balanced and, com and complete. Lincolnshire Posey by Granger as a whole work had, uh, was convinced and scored directly for the wind band in the early 1937. Five out of the six movements of which is made up and exists in no other finished form. We will perform the first four and six movement select, uh, selections of this master work. Lisbon, The Brisk Young Sailor, and The Lost Lady Found. This is Lincoln Shire Prosy, movements one, four, and six.
Okay, our next piece, entitled Xerxes by John Mackey, is an American composer. John Mackey is a contemporary classic music composer with the emphasis on music for wind band as well as orchestra. Xerxes takes on the name from Xerxes the Great, the King of Persia. The music unexpectedly is a concert march, whereas most marches, marches for concert band, at least the, the ones I'm familiar with, are cheerful and many times, uh, in many cases, patriotic. Mackey writes as if uh, this is a sort of an anti-march, uh, angry, a nasty march, he considers. That still follows the traditional structure one would expect from a march. This is Xerxes. Thank <laughs> you. 
least with this program, you can see and hear a little bit of the evolution of band, wind band literature uh, in its own uh, true art form. And uh, without the past, we can't have the future. Um, in an ode to uh, our origins, we're going to conclude our program with a traditional march, Rolling Thunder. wonderful musicians behind us that work really hard and are dedicated to this uh, wonderful genre, this wonderful band. Um, and I also want to thank the audience. Many of you we have seen several times before, and I, I thank you so much for spending this beautiful Sunday with us. Um, afterward, um, of course, uh, many of us stay out, and I'd love to meet several of you. Um, several of them would love to meet any of you who'd like to speak to any of us about the program, anything about you, uh, what you hear and what you like, about what you've seen in the past and today. So we'd like that interaction. So uh, if you stay around and talk for a little bit, that would be wonderful. And again, thank you. And those of you who do not stay, have a safe drive home. And again, thank you. And, and Daniel wanted me to make sure I remind everyone, our next program is going to be amazing. <clears throat> May 21st is another Sunday. 
But uh, this particular program that we're setting up and planning is going to include some vocal parts. Um, uh, Miss Kyla Bailey is going to come back and sing uh, vocal uh, as a soloist. And she's also going to bring the Aurora uh, group, the choir from uh, the Lumina Choir, which is hosted at uh, USF. So there will be a children's choir here performing um, our next uh, program. And it's basically uh, a tribute to our childhood, the, the nostalgic part of as we get older, looking back at some of the great pieces we've heard, whether it's musicals or uh, animated film uh, and the music that goes along with it. So the next program is going to be uh, a lot of fun and we'd love for you to join us again. Uh, May 21st is a Sunday, same place, same time, same bat channel, all that great stuff. Uh, so if you could bring more of an audience, we would love that. This next program is gonna be fantastic. Again, thank you so much.